Next up, we're chatting with a company that says they're merging tech and safety here at CES 2017. The CEO of Mobile Help is Rob Flippo. Rob, welcome back into tomorrow. It's been a while. How are you? Good. How are you doing, Dave? Doing fine, thank you. And uh, you are doing something kind of unique, and, and I guess it's probably a, a good way to describe it maybe for our audience is, is uh, a modern version of I've fallen and I can't get up, where you really are using technology to take care of folks in that manner, I guess, right? Absolutely, and Mo Mobile Help's been doing advanced medical alarm technology for, for a number of years now, including mobile alert systems that allow people to get help away from the home. So we now are introducing technology that really changes the look and feel and the usefulness of the device that sits in the home for mm -hmm. the safety um, that, that our so solutions provide. So the first thing we're, we're actually showing, I guess, that makes part of it uh, workable is a, kind of a, a small watch sort of thing that would be the wearable right? Uh, for a button to push. If I push this, is, uh, is it, does it call 911 or something? It actually calls our response center that decides really? what's happening okay, and good. Makes it has a two-way voice communication with you okay. to determine what kind of help you need, and they may dispatch 911 if that's what you need, but if you've fallen and you need the neighbor to come over and help you up, that, that's what they would do as well. So okay. it depends on your situation. Yeah, and what you've set up, I guess, in, in a profile, in a profile or something, right? Exactly. So very cool. And then this is, is uh, what do you call this device? It's so just that's just an activation button. An activation button. Okay. So I'm so tempted to push it. I don't want to get Go ahead and push uh, it. Oh, is something going to happen on the, on the tablet? Yeah. Okay, because now the next step, which is the whole modernization of this, being more than, than just a button, is the mobile help uh, tablet base station. And I'm going to push the button, and ooh, stuff comes up. Check it I'm out. I'm going to uh, turn Help. this off. It's kind of loud. Oh, that, that's quite all right. Again, it, it's not as loud as the morons down the aisle <laughs> that keep turning up their speakers in spite of the warnings. Oh, okay. So stand by for an operator. Yeah, exactly. Ah, okay, so got it. We, um, so it's basically sending a signal to our response center. It'll pick up in automated mode so we don't accidentally dispatch help to the, yes. uh, to, to the convention center <laughs> yeah, here. I mean, God knows I need help, but, but not necessarily that kind. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the idea is any place you are in the home, you can press this button, get help. It has really loud speakers, so if you, if you didn't have good hearing like a lot of our customers huh? um, you'll be able to hear <laughs> you'll Sorry. be able to hear them um, but but now instead of just having a box that's waiting for you to have an, an event th this unit allows you to um, have your family sends you pictures for example oh, so how cool so, so it, now it's, it's a, an electronic picture frame as yeah, well yeah. So, yeah and so seamlessly through our portal mm -hmm. a, a loved one could could upload pictures and and then they just arrive on grandma's device yeah i was um, just gonna say what a great way for hi grandma you know how are you today whatever just got home from school a little something to just sure. kind of interact right yeah, yeah and we can set it up so it scrolls through those pictures as the screen savers and they may be surprised that something new has has shown up yeah so similarly we can start to look at doing things like vital signs monitoring so oh, blood, pressure, blood pressure blood glucose weight uh spo2 uh, exactly so there's a plethora of uh, medical devices coming out that use Bluetooth to connect uh, to the to the uh, to phones primarily. Sure. But we can use this uh, device to collect that vital signs so data. So, like fitness trackers and that kind of thing. We ha we can do activity tracking, but um, for health and wellness, blood pressure and weight are really critical, uh, especially yeah. for certain chronic conditions. So, yeah, monitoring rate. and measuring that is important. So. Mm -hmm. We we got into that into that field working with Honeywell, who does remote patient monitoring post discharge. So you get out of the hospital, and they they monitor very closely these parameters. And if they go out of out of alignment, they can um, quickly get you help. We recognized that there was an opportunity to do that on a consumer level, which was really the impetus for developing this really advanced sure. modern version of a medical alarm. And while we might think in terms of the elderly pr predominantly, you know, for mom and dad or grandparents or something like that, I'm sure that this could be useful for anyone. Absolutely. Uh, even, you know, in, in your family it, with kids, if there's an issue or something that they have. I'm noticing a help button also on this tablet screen as a base station. So I'm assuming that's the same as pushing the button it's on exactly the watch right. light device, right? That is exactly right. So if you train the kids, even the young ones, that if there's an emergency or a problem, then they can they can get help that way too. That is exactly right. I'm loving it. And of course you have messaging. We even have video chat and, and reminders. Now this is something I'm guessing is really handy for reminders reminding dad that he's forgotten his medication or something, right? That's exactly right. And when it when the reminder comes up, you acknowledge it, and that acknowledgement goes into a system. So a caregiver can take a look at that and recognize that um, you, you've acknowledged those reminders as a good 
estimation for having taken that taken that medicine. Awesome. And it, there's even games. So there's, there's ways to keep you interactive with the device uh, that, that keeps it kind of fun. And when we're setting up a profile, I'm noticing the, the My Profile button here, we have the, the ability now to, uh, to then, whether it's a neighbor who can help or a family member or otherwise, um, it, will there also be like a place to put doctor information or something if necessary or medications or that sort of thing? The, absolutely. So that we can uh, make it easier for some somebody who's coming to help you to, to, to help you the way you need to be helped. This, uh, to me, seems like it's got to help with health care costs as well, because not only is the cost of insurance just spiraling out of control and has been for a long time, but if we can better control our own health or take care of mom or dad or that sort of thing, I'm thinking this is also financially feasible and helpful. Absolutely, and that's the reason why remote patient monitoring is, exists today to save the hospitals and healthcare systems dollars for um, for hospital visits. So, the uh, the chronic condition management long term is all, is going to also save money. It's going to keep people out of the hospital, keep them aging in place, which is what we want to see. Yeah, oh people for sure. people staying at home and being able to manage these things on their own. And that's all. That's so important because I think more and more people are saying, "Don't put me in a home." Exactly. You know, I want to I want to stay in my home. And fine, I want you to check on me. Clearly you care and you want to make sure I'm okay and I'm taking my meds. And, and yeah, it's time for our video chat to say how you feeling today or something. That's wonderful. And this gives folks that opportunity. What are we talking cost-wise for the mobile help system here? So on the, cons on the consumer level for basic medical alarm service where it's in the $40 a month range. Mm -hmm. And it um, will go up depending on whether it's a, a, a medical application. But it's still going to be very affordable because we drive our business from the consumer side. So sure. we're going to keep the prices um, at a consumer and th level. that includes the, the base station? Absolutely. Or? Oh, okay. Yeah. Terrific. Yeah, so you got that monitoring and includes the equipment and the watch-like device for the I've Fallen button. <laughs> the whole bit. Right. And, a, and a mobile device as well, so you can oh, take good. it when you leave the when home and, 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 about. Get, and get help from remotely as well. That's awesome. Um, and how soon is it available, or is it available now? So the, the tablet base station we're piloting, in, piloting starting in April with some healthcare organizations good. and expect to be in full production by the middle of the year. Terrific. This year? This year. Excellent. Mobilehelp.com for more information. You'll see what Rob and his team are up to on a regular basis and get more info about this very cool tablet base station and all the things they're doing for mobilehelp.com. Thanks, Rob, for joining Thank us again you. at CES. We're back with more as we continue our 22nd year coverage of the CES. This is the 2017 edition. I'm Dave Graveline on the Advanced Media Network. Don't go away.